a review on the new Maybelline Fit Me Matte and mattes plus poreless that's what it's called and also the powder i'm going to do both in one right now these are 7.99 this comes with one fluid ounce and the powder comes with 8.5 grams uh as you can see the packaging has changed it's a more or less the same packaging but now it has in turquoise the fit me logo so i thought that was kind of cute i really like the turquoise on it um that being said the first thing off the bat is i can't stand that it doesn't have a pump Seriously, get with the game. Give us a pump. I was so disappointed that they didn't re refix that. Um, as and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the top of mine because I already spilled some. Hell of a mess. Uh, I just. I just can't. But I am gonna check on Beauty MP see if maybe they already have a pump available for it and purchase one because it just makes it a lot more easier for me to use but anyways let's go ahead and get into the product so you guys can know more about the product itself on the back of the foundation it claims that this is for normal to oily skin it mattifies and refines pores it matches matches natural tone and is natural seamless finish on the powder itself on the back it says that it's obviously from normal to oily skin as well it has the sponge and the mirror on the inside like the regular one used to so you have the product there you flip it up and you have your mirror and then you have this little sponge that comes with it so um, on the back of the mirror on um, the back of the mirror <laughs> on the back of the packaging of the powder it says that it's natural poreless looking finish it's up to 12 hour wear and it's long lasting shine control so I have to say right off the bat for those who only want to hear me for 30 seconds to see if this is a good foundation or not I am in love with this foundation I love 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 this I have been just like wow I, I really really like this so let me go ahead and tell you guys what I really like about it other than the bad thing of it not having a pump this foundation is a little bit more thicker in consistency it does run whenever it wants to but at the same time sometimes it kind of get, get stuck and you're like pushing it to come out so I've been using a spatula to kind of get it out until I find a pump for it the shade range I feel is exactly like the original one I am in the shade 220 which is natural beige both in the powder and in the foundation and I think that was more I I'm pretty sure I was the foundation shade 220 in the original line that being said I did see that they changed the original line and the original line now has I think it's pink or like a raspberry color and it says dewy now so I'm not sure if they changed the formulation on the regular one or if it was dewy to begin with on in their minds so I really like the first one um, the original one it's a very natural looking and you know it really looked nice but one of the issues that I had with it was it it wasn't really long wearing and this is where this puppy has like made me fall in love this is very very long wearing it makes my face look super matte it makes it look very long wearing uh, very look very long wearing what the hell I <laughs> I'm just like all over the place today. Um, it makes it look very like poreless and seamless. That's what I'm going to say. And it is very long wearing. Um, it's actually what I have on my face today. I feel like the foundation shade really matches really nicely. And it looks really beautiful and natural looking on. Obviously, it's not going to look like your skin completely because people can tell that you have makeup on. Hello. But like you know compared to looking like a cake face and stuff like that it, it like blends really nicely into your skin almost like a second layer of skin it's absolutely gorgeous so this is something matte so I would recommend this more for oily to combo skin girls and not more dry girls I just can't believe the stay power of the combination of these two I actually went into the sauna and I know I shouldn't have done this but I went into the sauna just to kind of test it out and see if it would last at like under that heat um, 200 degrees so I went into the sauna for like five minutes came out and everything was still on my face I thought it was gonna like sweat off it was still there and even the um, and I know this is a little bit off-topic but the Maybelline master conceal that I just did a review on that was still under my eyes just holding on for dear life it was still like intact no smearing no smudging no nothing none of this it just did an awesome job so I am super impressed by this foundation especially for being a drugstore one 
This is very, very long wearing. I think that this is the natural looking version of the Revlon Color Stay. The Revlon Color Stay is very thick in formula. It looks a little bit more done up, kind of like you're gonna go for a photo shoot or like on a night out. And this is kind of like the Revlon Color Stay, but the natural looking version of it, if that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. So if you love the Revlon Color Stay, but don't want to look so made up every single day, then I would definitely say give this a try because you're going to look very natural, but you're going to get that longevity that the Revlon Color Stay gives you. So I, I, I mean, I... I think you guys can tell that I really, really like this foundation. Um, uh, that being said, let me go ahead and show you guys the demo of the foundation being put on as well as the powder so you guys can go ahead and see it being put on. like the half face that I usually do but I think you can tell any which way from the before and after that it really does blend really nicely it looks really natural on this skin and it does give a really nice like medium to almost full coverage I think you could definitely build this up into a full coverage but even so it covers my broken capillaries here which is like my main issue and I think that this would look really really like is a good coverage like you can put a little bit of concealer just a little bit of this foundation on and get a really nice medium coverage I think it is a really buildable coverage so you could get to a full coverage if you wanted to but um I mean it just looks beautiful on the skin so that is about all I have to say about this foundation. Like I said, love it. On the powder itself, I'm not really a fan of the packaging like I wasn't before, but this powder is incredible. This powder reminds me of the Max Fix, um, what's it called? Jeesh, I've got to get myself together. Of the Max Studio Fix or the It Foundation, um, the Celebration Foundation. This is a awesome matte powder and, okay, my fingers are clean, right? Look at this. It's like, bam! <laughs> it is super, super pigmented and awesome. I think that you could actually use this kind of on its own and give really, really nice coverage. Um, I use this with a kabuki brush to kind of really pack it on and it gave a really nice coverage. It lasted all day. It's a really nice mattifying powder. So you could actually use this powder by itself or in combination with the foundation. In combination with the foundation, it is amazing. This really like just sets it, at, gives that extra coverage. It looks very seamlessly on. I love that it doesn't give like a powdery look to your face. I didn't even have to use my setting spray and that is a big deal for me because most powders, almost every single powder that I use, I use a setting spray to set it because of the fact that I wanna kinda take away that powdery look so I, I pat in the setting spray to get away from that powdery look and I don't have to do this with this powder and I think it really lives lives up to the poreless part where it says um, matte and poreless I think that's the um, formulation that they made so I absolutely love this 
I, I know I'm probably sounding like a commercial, but I'm so impressed by this foundation and this powder. And the wear time on this is fabulous. It's very long wearing. I feel like it just stays everything in place and it looks very natural on as well. So can't even say enough. Um, if you wanted to, you could really pack this on using the sponge that it comes with. That really helps if you want to like pat it in and even seal it in better. I myself, if I'm going to use the foundation in combination, in combination with the powder, I go ahead and use a fluffy brush and just dust it on top to give a little bit of added coverage and really set that foundation. So I can't even tell you how much I really, really love this foundation and powder. I am definitely going to be on the hunt for a pump for this bad boy now. And of course, be careful if you're going to open it because you might run into issues like I did and knock it over. <laughs> but other than that, really, really love it. Um, definitely give it a shot. Let me know if you guys have tested it, tried it, whatever, um, how your... Um, Shade range is going. Uh, like I said, my shade range is exactly the same as the original one when I bought it. I'm still in the shade 220 Natural Beige. So yeah, that is all for this. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing, and until next time, bye guys.